I wanted to ask you about Syriza in Greece, uh, a movement that started as a grassroots movement. Now they have taken power, Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras. And then you have Spain right now. Uh, we recently spoke to Pablo Iglesias, the secretary general of the group called Podemos that was founded, what, um, an anti-austerity party that has rapidly gained popularity. A month after establishing itself last year, they won five seats in the European Parliament, and some polls show they could take the next election, which would mean that Pablo Iglesias, the 36-year-old political science professor and longtime activist, could possibly become the prime minister of Europe's fifth-largest economy. He came here to New York for just uh, about 72 hours, and I asked him to talk about what austerity measures have meant in Spain. Austerity means that people is is expulsed uh, of their homes. Austerity means that the the social services don't work anymore. Austerity means that uh, public schools have not the the elements, the the means to develop their activity. Austerity means that the countries have not sovereignty anymore, and and we. We became a colony of the financial powers and, and a colony of, of Germany. Austerity probably means the, the end of, of democracy. I think if we don't have um, democratic control of economy, we don't have democracy, it's impossible to separate economy and, and democracy, in my opinion. That was Pablo Iglesias, um, the head of this new anti-austerity group in Spain called Podemos, which means in English, we can. The significance of these movements— It's a very significant, but notice the reaction. Uh, the reaction to Syriza was extremely savage. Uh, they made a little bit of progress in their negotiations, but not much. The Germans came down very hard on them. You mean in dealing with the debt? In the dealing with them, and sort of forced them to back off from almost all their uh, proposals. Uh, um, what's going on with the austerity is really class war. Uh, as an economic program, austerity under recession makes no sense. It just makes the situation worse. So the Greek debt relative to GDP has actually gone up during the period of which is well, the policies that are supposed to overcome the debt. In the case of Spain, the debt was not public debt. It was private debt. It was the actions of the banks. And that means also the German banks. Remember, when a bank makes a, a, a dangerous, a risky uh, borrowing, somebody is making a risky lending. Uh, and uh, the policies that are designed by the Troika, you know, are basically paying off the banks, the perpetrators, much like here. The population is suffering. But one of the things that's happening is that the, uh, you know, the social democratic policies, so-called welfare state, is being eroded. That's class war. It's not an economic policy that makes any sense as to, to end a, a serious recession. And uh, there is a reaction to it. Greece, uh, uh, Spain, uh, some in Ireland, may have growing elsewhere, France. But uh, it's a very dangerous situation. Could lead to a right-wing response, mm -hmm. very right-wing. Um, the alternative to Syriza might be Golden Dawn, the neo-Nazi party.